people bring claims to the court to challenge the validity of a will. However, there are three considerations that the court will make when determining whether a will should be invalid. First, did the testator have testamentary capacity at the time that they executed their will? Second, did the testator understand the contents of the will and approve the contents of the will? Third, did the testator execute the will on his or her own accord without undue influence or duress? Which means, did anybody else exercise undue influence on them and force them to write this will or perhaps to include or exclude particular beneficiaries or, you know, influence the content of the will? If the answer is no to any one of those three questions, then a will becomes invalid. Now, I'm going to address the first two questions together. There is a presumption that if the will was properly executed after being reviewed by the testator and it appeared that the testator understood it, that the will is valid and that the testator had capacity. This presumption is considered rebuttable, which means that it's not up to the testator to prove that they did have capacity and did understand. The court requires anybody who's challenging the validity of a will based on those two premises to provide the evidence to the court that proves otherwise. So the court is going to look at the evidence that's presented to it. For instance, was there a capacity assessment that was done at the time or some sort of medical finding that can prove that there was no way that the testator had capacity when they created this will? Is there evidence that the will wasn't reviewed by them, that they just signed it blindly? Without that kind of evidence, the court is going to favor the testator and assume that the will that they signed is the one that they wanted to sign and contains all the information that they wanted to be put in their will. Now, if the will is being challenged on the third consideration and somebody is raising suspicion that there was undue influence or fraud uh, that was exercised on the testator when they created their will, then the burden of proof is on them. The person attacking the will that way has to provide the evidence to prove that it is in fact invalid and undue influence was exercised. It's important to know that just the suspicion that fraud or undue influence was exercised on the testator won't be enough to invalidate the will. Even coercion of the testator isn't enough. You actually have to prove that there was an overbearing power that was exercised on the testator and that because of this power, the will was made. In order for the courts to decide that the will should be found invalid. Now, if the will was found invalid and the testator had created a previous will, then the testator's wishes in that previous will is what's going to be enforced. If there wasn't a previous will, then it's the succession law, so the courts are going to dictate how the person's estate is going to be distributed. And as with most litigation, when the lawyer's involved from the beginning, a lot of it can be avoided. When somebody's preparing their will, if we're involved from the beginning, then we make sure that the formalities of the will are complied with. We also do as much due diligence as we can to confirm that the, not only that the testator has capacity, but that they actually understand what's in the will and that they confirm that the will actually contains the contents that they wish for it to contain. We also do a lot of questioning of our clients to try to make sure that there isn't anybody that's influencing them or forcing them to include or exclude anybody from their will. And if at the very least there is still a challenge of the will brought to the court, then our involvement in the process can offer evidence that will help the judges decide one way or another as to whether the will should be considered valid or invalid. If you're considering challenging a will or have any questions about what we've covered today, get in touch with us. We're here to help.